everybody. Welcome along to the Monaco Grand Prix. Today, we're going to see if you can go to the Monaco Grand Prix for free. Now, you may hear a few cars in the background. We're currently stood where you don't have to pay. You can just come to Monaco and be here. At the moment, we can't see anything. We haven't really looked yet. Uh, and uh, we are, have actually got general mission tickets, but it's only one very specific part of the circuit, like a, literally a sort of field up on the cliff, where you can have general mission. So we want to see, it's a city. Can you just watch somewhere for free? Let's go find out. Well, straight away, up at the CBS Square. We're very close to the track here, but obviously they've got boards there stopping us really being able to see through. There's a few gaps here and there. We've got a screen over there that we can half see. I'm sure there's some places up in the grandstand now to have a good view. See this square just there, obviously up here would be insane. So it looks like down here, there's no free lunches. Let's try walking down the hill a bit towards the hairpin. See so if there's anything around that way that we can see. So here we go after a ah, two or three hundred meter walk around. We find another place you can very briefly see them over that fence there. Obviously we've got some security here. We're gonna see if we can go through here and get a bit more track side. We can see there is a lot of things blocking our view, so. No, we can very briefly see them here, then not a lot else. No commentary, no screens, not a lot here. Okay, so Porsche Security was a no-go. Um, said needed tickets. But uh, we're going to go into the shopping centre here. So again, you can sort of, you can't really see a lot, we'll get barricaded off, but we're right down to the shopping centre down here. See if there's any luck down there. Okay, not a lot of chance seeing F1 cars in here, but... Look at this place. Oh my word. Welcome to Monte Carlo. Wow. I don't even know. This is just a shopping centre. Feels like we're about to go into a ball with a, with a gown on. Now I will say, although we can't see any track action here, there's a screen there. We've got a table here, right next to the track. You can't see it in person, but you can see the screen very clearly. You can see the screen much clearer than you can most of the rest of the circuit. All you want to do is watch the action. It's not a bad place to do it. And the air conditioning, the track is just through there, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get out there or not. Probably the same security I'd have thought. We'll have a look. Well, well, well. Our first sort of viewing spot. There's a track right there. Well, that wasn't the best of views, not going to lie. But, <laughs> you wouldn't get much close to F1 cars than that around most of the other circuits. And it's certainly loud. And certainly not for free. Um, if you just want to be close to F1 car, you want to hear it in person, you can go there for free. But again, you can't see a lot of the TV down here, but um, not a great deal more. But hey, close. We'll see if we can actually see more though. And actually see, you know, maybe hair on the hairpin, see some, see some more stuff. Let's go have a look. On this bottom layer, where the TV's just over there, there's a casual Ford Re car sat here. It's quite cool. Not that it's F1, but it's still cool to see a Ford Re car literally this close. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen any F1 cars yet, but maybe we can see a bit closer out here. Let's try. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. There's security here. Um, sort of a barrier, but you seem to let some people just go and have a quick look. That sounds very close. We'll see if we can get up there, maybe. Okay, so we've given up on that idea. The security guard seems to just be letting whoever he fancied up there uh, and certainly wouldn't be a sustainable place to stay. So we're leaving the shopping centre now. See if we can go somewhere. This must be people look like they found somewhere good. Just about to see through there. This is where Lewis Hamilton went deep. This is the Rosberg corner. So if someone went deep there, he'd be very, very close to the car. But obviously, again, not a great view from here. No TV, no commentary. Nothing else. This man's got a slightly bigger gap. Should get a lens through a bit easier. Not fantastic view in there, so let's see if we find something better. Okay, this is the end of that runoff, runoff area. Again, just can't see. I mean, through the gaps, you can see a very brief glimpse of the cars. But again, just the tiniest of gaps, unfortunately. Can't see a great deal. Bit of a bigger gap here, but even so very briefly, very, very briefly see the cars. You can see them zoom past. You can see them zoom, yeah, yeah. but it's a tiny gap and it's very brief, no, no TV either. Okay, here we go, coming up here to the entrance to the tunnel. So we have just missed all the hairpin and stuff, but 
I don't think there's any way to get to that. Obviously a few people crowded here, so I think you can see a little bit here. I'll definitely get a brief look from there. Once again there, not really. Any of you, uh, very brief glimpse. You get the sound though. There's people sneaking up here. I don't know if they should be, but we're going to try it. This could be a pretty good place to view if we can somehow see over the fence. I've done worse to see F1 cars. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm sure at some point a guard somewhere will come to tell us off. But I tell you what, you can't see them. Not bad. Oh, look at that. to get down I know it wasn't gonna last that's fine but we got a really good glimpse there okay how about the other side here where this little slip road is can maybe just about get a shot but it's quite brief again no, nothing like TV screens or anything down here yeah it's not really nice we can get high like obviously these fences aren't hugely high but obviously we can't get in someone's balcony and I'll tell you what if you want a severe budget and all you want is the sights and sounds of a full-on car, even if brief. Here is not a bad place, especially if you're willing to break the, bend the rules here. It's actually someone stood there now, some people go up. Even if you're willing to bend the rules and go up there a little bit. Even just here though, there's bigger gaps in the fence here than we have seen. And you see them again, just briefly, on a glimpse of an F1 car with the sounds. This is it, but no, no TVs, no commentary. And this is as far as we can go, unfortunately, for now. Okay, so practice is just going to finish in the next minute. We're actually now back where we started. But yeah, so no more cars on track, unfortunately. But that's not going to stop us being able to spot the track because uh, it's very clear where it is. Instead of the track closed all day long. So yeah, we're just going to head back down now. You can only really access one side of the circuit as well. Of course, you've got the sea on the other side, which you can only really access that side if you, if you own a massive yacht, which isn't us, unfortunately. Maybe one day. Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're just going to head along now. We, so we saw a couple way? of little glimpses. We'll see if we can see, see the track anywhere else. And to be fair, Casino Square, if you're interested in more than just Formula One cars, this is not a bad place to go as well. I'm not, I'm not quite the Ben Daly. I don't fawn over supercars quite so much as him, but these are all pretty special. There's no doubt, especially that. I like that colour. Is this the same as Ben? I think so. No. No, it's not the exhaust at the top. No, I meant this one. Maybe, oh, same colour. <laughs> no, it's still not the same. And um, whatever it is, I don't even know what this one is, but it's clearly a Ferrari, but beyond that, I've never seen one of those before. If you, if you like nice cars, that would be another reason to come to the Lord Free, even if you haven't got tickets. More Ferraris, you say? Sure, we can do that. Mercedes? Oh, a couple more. A couple of Lambos there. Why not? Another Ferrari. Another Lambo. Another Ferrari. <laughs> They're literally everywhere here. It's absolutely ridiculous. On the way up from Casino Square, you can see Definitely a portion of the track. In fact, that grandstand, the back of the grandstand we see there is where Ben is sitting for the rest of the weekend. So very brief glimpse of the cars up here from here, but from very far away. There we go. So obviously you can sit here. It's quite nice. You can just about see the track in the distance there. Again though, slightly bigger glimpse than on that previous on the wall. Let's go down here. See if there's anything else we can see. So again, just a very brief glimpse through here. You can get see slightly more than we could up there, but that's the brief glimpse of the track. We're a bit closer down here, but it's not very good. We'll perhaps walk up here. Yeah, I think this area is a bit of a no-go. So it's just sort of the back of the buildings here, and obviously the, all the fronts are going to be where all the hotels are. It's a road that goes back up there. That's back to up where we started. There's nothing around here we can see. So let's go around back down now, see if there's anywhere else we can find. Perhaps up high with a better view than just a gap through a fence. How sweaty is my back? Um, it was worse yesterday. Oh no, it's bad. You see it even worse on the camera. <laughs> Poor Alex. Should we go over there, where yeah. people were before? Yes, please. Another area, you get a very brief glimpse of the cars. Just below that bridge there. That's turn one, I believe. So you can see, you can see the trap, but again, very far away here. Very brief glimpse. It's not really worth it, to be honest. Let's carry around though, see what people stood over there. I think up there might be a good view. We'll see. Well, well, well. That's a huge amount of track, but you can see more than about there. And what a view. Shame that big building in the way, to be honest, but that is not a bad view. Again, only quite a brief glimpse, sorry, brief glimpse of the track. 
clearer than a lot of other places, Nyom, exactly. <laughs> but what a view. Incredible. See if we can go around more and see over the buildings a bit more, I don't know. Obviously, you get a chunk of the track there. Again, you can see the cars for a little period of time, but obviously, again, no speeds, no commentary up here. Some roads below us here. Obviously, we're stood right next to a road as well. So, not the most comfortable place to be, but you can see the track. Okay, so slightly oddly, having taken a lift down many, many floors, and now we are back to basically where we started. This is the train station exit here. Okay, so this is the sort of main street from our Grand Prix. Um, obviously, lots of people here. Pretty free access to here. Don't be security to get here, but other than that, there's no tickets required. Lots of stands here, so we want some merch, but we're going to try and head down here now. This is where we were yesterday in these grandstands, but we know that there's a bit right next to the track which we'd absolutely love to get into, but I think we may need a ticket even for there. We didn't seem to need it yesterday. It was sort of on the exit of the grandstand area. We know that just next to here, this is obviously the track to the other side of that fence. Let's see where that security guard in the, in the red is. Let's we'll see if we can get past him. That's the day, unfortunately. Um, he directly said, oh, you can get to the restaurant, but you've got to go around the other way, but we know that place also requires tickets. So if you've got grandstand tickets for this K grandstand, you can seem to be able to it's sort of where we were trying to get to there is sort of on the exit of the grandstand it's quite weird you sort of walk right past it but there's nothing stopping you just going in there because you're already past the security part um, i'm sure you could blag your way in somehow but we're not trying to bend any or break any rules here so um yeah just to go onwards i mean now we're along the pit straight i'll be amazed if we can get anywhere okay so that's how you get in with general mission along this road here but we're gonna go up here instead we want to see before we use our tickets what you can see for free now other people obviously just sat in the shade you can see a barrier up there, so clearly they're still trying to stop people from seeing for free. But we'll see if we keep up going along here, maybe we'll get lucky. So we're still climbing. Yeah, quite a good view over the, over the bay here, but obviously, again, put all these barriers up to stop them seeing. And they're all the way along. So you almost start to see, and then you get a barrier. They're mean, aren't they? Very mean. <laughs> oh, well, well. We're at the top. Interestingly, there is a bit of sea you can see really well, but. There's some sort of barrier. I don't really understand how you get there. We did it. We used our tickets. We couldn't not. This looks like a really good place to view. Okay, look down there at the pit entry as well. The final chicane there. Probably still the best view we've had, but obviously we have had to use our tickets. Just having walked on a little bit further. Again, it's quite a brief limp. So you can see just past the final chicane as well. Only a little bit better than the three places elsewhere. Yeah. Still quite distant. You only see a very brief glimpse of the track you see a bit more yeah definitely but it's not like it's 50 euros versus 60 euros it's free versus a paid ticket it's quite a big jump but let's go around and see if there's any better views and get remission i'm not saying we should cut down the trees but if the trees weren't there you'd actually have a really good view but for the most part the trees seem to block most of it let's carry along what's this under here some sort of lamborghini under a special lamborghini cover very nice unsurprisingly where all the people are this is the best view See, that is solidly better than the other views to found. There's even a TV camera up here. That's how you know it's a good view when you're up here with a TV camera. But yeah, obviously you're going to be busy up there, but definitely a solid view. Well, this is actually a free area now. We've left the, the general mission area. I think that's perhaps a more area, but I mean, look at this view. It's kind of a shame they put this big fence in the way. We'll see if we can get around it in a minute, but insane to, see, to be this side of Monaco. Ridiculous. It just gives you an idea of the scale and how steep it is and how many buildings there are here. Wow, you can't see really any of the track. You can maybe very briefly see flashes of cars, but what's the view of Monaco? Let's find a little cafe up here. See a little bit again, still down there, you get many flashes, a bit too far from the circuit now, really. He's back in the paid zone. There's a few bits outside the paid zone, but this is general mission. Again, quite a good view here, obviously a lot more unobstructed as we've now paid, but still no real circuit view, if I'm being completely honest. So we're going to head down a bit further here, see what we can see, but I'm expecting there is have actually got a good view to be uh, pretty busy, we'll see. Yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of people, quite crowded, unsurprisingly. We've got this thing on the left, we can sort of sit on, but you can see the circuit. A little way away from it, I mean, honest. It's not a fantastic view, but as we go further down, in theory, we'll be able to see more, but obviously, then we'll also be lower. So we're seldom stopping here. Um, you know, it keeps going on further and further, but it only gets busier and busier. Um, we can actually see a bit of the pit lane from here. You can see certainly by the track, you can see the very fast chicane there where Ricardo crashed in practice. Um, didn't seem to be a huge amount of places for free. There was a few places you could see glimpses of cars. There's no real good places for free, I don't think. Do you think now? 
Are any good places? No. Yeah. Apart from where you went. Apart from, oh yeah, apart from when I climbed on that wall, but I did get in trouble for that, so. I think uh, there's definitely, if you booked at a restaurant somewhere, you pay for a bit of food. I know it's not free anymore, but you know, you're paying for the food, not really for the view. That's where you can maybe have a good view. Um, the animation seems okay. Okay, we're just the F2 start, couldn't see any of it. Got by the trees, got the screen down there, it's good to see. But we'll see that our first racing of the weekend. Decent view this as well, here they come. Access for the Monaco Grand Prix and also uh, seeing what the general mission was like. Um, the free access, I think if all you want to do is, is be at a race, hear the cars, see them very, very briefly, you can do it for free. General mission, to be honest, most of it isn't worth it. I mean, we literally no. left midway through Q1 because we were like, we can't see what's going on. We've got no internet. I there's no TV, there's no commentary. I'd rather watch it on TV. I could see better. I'd know what was going on. There'd be commentary. They could at least put some commentary. Yeah. So it. to pay and to have that view, honestly, don't bother. But where we watch the F2 race and the end of quality, that is still general mission. If you could guarantee there, more than worth it. Well, well worth it. Probably Unreal better view. than the Grands. Um, Genuinely better than the biggest Grandstand see here. So much. Grandstand K way better than that and we could see a screen we could hear the commentary unreal um there's also a lower deck going on. even now knew what was going on <laughs> and there's a lower deck as well there's a bit below that as well that you can see the similar view i think because so we were high up is why we could see so much though i don't think you'd be able yeah, to see much down possibly. there but yeah so general mission worth it if you can get there free um hold on we'll see about to go over free areas if you just want to pop by and just experience an F1 car, hear the sound of it live, yes. Beyond that, you it's might... It's a long way to pop though, it's probably best if you're local. I will say you probably can find a TV somewhere. If you want to just sit in a bar with a drink and get a TV which and, hear, and hear the actual cars in the distance, which we did do for a bit during quality, then it works. So anyway, that's about it from, from here for this video. Not a bad view, I mean up here, we're still in the general mission area, but up here is obviously unreal views. If you wanted some Instagram pics, Here's, here's the place to so go. You can see the start from here. Yeah, true. Yeah, if you come along here a bit, you can see a bit of the grid and a bit of the chicane, but less of the track in general. So this is still okay, but like, again, you've got no TV, probably can't hear the commentary from here. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, that's the Monaco Grand Prix. Worth it if you just want to hear some cars and just experience it for a little while. But uh, anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>